Hello and welcome back. We're heading toward uh, the bo botanical lab. And uh, we have uh, the biggest news for them. And that news is that we have the books for Thomas. Woo! They're gonna be super ha uh, happy about that. Uh, they can't wait to hear about us. <laughs> this development. Also, we found Zoe, that uh, raider chick. Uh, that is apparently gonna go back to watch some uh, TV shows. So, very good news for them. Also, yeah, also, uh, yeah, uh, Edgewood is dead now, and uh, they got all the power in the land. I mean, they may care about that a little bit. <gasps> Thomas Kemp! I, I, I can't help but feel that when we made the choice, we kind of, maybe we were missing one follower, because we only had one side of the story. Any luck finding one of those manuals? By the way, uh, we're not taking your boyfriend with us. That would be that would be a little awkward. Today's your lucky day, Thomas. I got one of, one of those data pads you wanted. Actually, I got all of them. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? All of them. Uh, why can I say that I have them all? I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna tell them one by one. I got the first one. How about that? Look at that! Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. Yeah, One you? data pad's enough to guide me down my newfound path. Just remember, I got something saved for you if you find me all three. Oh, 300 credits? Right. Hold on. I got more. Well, don't keep me in suspense. No, no, don't worry about it. I got part two as well. Ain't that just ironical. If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads? Be still Whoa. not beaten hard. Oh, almost forgot your payment. 300 credits, baby. What? No, 500 credits. Wow. Hold down. I got more. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Just, we just, you check this out, mate. The elusive part free. Someone stashed it away inside the old geo plant. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. Nah. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm gonna be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. Just the mod? Alright, thanks. Do you want to come with us? What's on your mind? Uh, do you want to hook up with Parvati? How long do you live here? Couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. That's I nice. I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. What are you doing in the wilderness? We all left the cannery for one reason or another. Me? I was let go. Mostly on account of my incompetence. I mean, I was incompetent. I couldn't even survive on my own. Grace found me, Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. You weren't incompetent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole and now it doesn't. <laughs> you could stay, you know. Here. I'd be happy to... I mean, uh, we could really use... Uh, well, this isn't coming out right. Uh, if you want, Adelaide would make a place for you. Oh, come on, Thomas Camp. Why not just say, hey, you wanna move in with me right now and have my babies? Alright, let's go. You sure you don't want this Thomas Camp guy? I can't stop thinking on Edgewater, Captain. I'm glad the deserters are gonna be alright now they got power, but... What about the town? All those people? The people gonna have food. You mentioned something earlier I, that I wanted to ask about? In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? Why would you bring that up? You sounded worried. Ooh, yeah. She did sound... worried. 
Sorry. I know it's none of my business. No, I'm, I, I don't drink. I, I don't make a habit of imbibing. I'm not... I'm going to guess you're not a drinker yourself. Strong drink makes me sick. And it makes me real sad. I start thinking about things I oughtn't and then... Well, never mind that. You got better things to think on. Sorry. Don't apologize. But then, in a way, I'm just telling her what to do. If you want to talk about it, I'm happy to listen. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. Apparently there is no way to romance in this game. But... It doesn't stop me from trying. So why aren't you allowed in the store anymore? There was a, a kind of a thing with a vending machine when I was 12. And that got you banned for life? Did you steal from it or something? Not intentionally. I've always been good with my hands, right? So I saw a lock on the machine and thought, oh, this must be how they refill it. But I had to know. So I did my thing. And next thing I know, there's a couple hundred bottles of Zero G rolling out the front door and into the road. <laughs> this is a really good backstory. Because this is what you might, uh, might hear from an actual engineer or someone who's interested in the working of things. Is that they, they had this uh, uh, memory or even desire as, 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 as children to, to just know how things work. I can I can definitely get on board with this. Uh, I definitely uh, had those times. I, I just want to know how things work. So yeah, this 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 just fits her character so well. I can see how that could upset people. <laughs> you picked the okay, sure, sure, sure. I'm just gonna laugh. It's not funny. <laughs> it is. Right about then, a bunch <laughs> of loaders came rolling in the gate, fresh off the Saltuna ships. And Mr. Thompson was up on the porch making a speech about how everyone would have to volunteer a third shift to get it all canned. Anyhow, you ever seen an auto loader run over a bottle of Zero G? Go on. <sighs> Exploded all over Mr. Thompson. One bottle after another as the loaders went by. I was just shy of working age, so Dad had to pay all the damages. Moreau's still angry at me. I can laugh about it now, but I just about puked up my guts in terror in the moment. That's the one time I ever made Mr. Thompson look a fool. Alright, let's get back on the road. I like you a lot, Parati. You should come with me. Okay, uh, back to the very serious... Oh yeah, actually, that's quite serious. We found the Raider chick. Wait, where are you there? Grace! I thought you were, like, gonna be in town. Wait, let's just, uh... Find, uh... Water and drink it. Oh, fuck. What did I do? I think I just did some drug by accident. Oh, yeah, hey. What is it? I thought Zoe didn't coming back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? Yeah, she's young and stupid. She joined up with the band of Marauders. They hadn't heard her. Something about wanting to be an outlaw. I'd rather not get into it. I'd rather not get in her into trouble. I don't think she just uh, did a lot of Marauder shit. Or any, any of it. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Mm -hmm. Apparently not coming with me. So we can return to Ludwig. Return to lead. Read. Uh, cannot we? Can we talk to Adeline? You hear that? That low, pleasant hum of electricity. It whispers across the veil like the winds of change. You've done well. I would have paid my last five bits to see the look on Reed's face when the last lamp in town burnt out and the cannery fell to silence. 
She does have a point. Parvati does have a point that Adelaide uh, very much enjoys Reed's suffering, which I can get on board with, you know. Reed uh, crossed a lot of people. You really have it in for Reed. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Well, I'm not gonna tell her how to feel about that. I think she has every right to uh, be super mad about that. What happens now? Time's come to look toward the future. We'll grow, I expect. A lot of workers out there with nowhere else to go. Also, uh, Thomas Kemp's story also backs my view that Thomas left the town even without knowing about the botanical laboratory. So people are already abandoning. The, the town is already dead. In a way. Or it's gonna be dead very soon. Even without the botanical garden. You don't sound too pleased. I don't look forward to turning folk away. Camp's gotta stay pure though. Can't have corporate loyalists mixing with us. No matter how desperate they may be. I am curious. Why did you help us? You don't know who we are. You don't owe us a thing. The plant's crawling with mechanicals, so it stands to reason you risked your life. What? So you're not gonna let in people from town who are desperate? I don't necessarily would say that she has a better way of life. It's really hard to say here. Yeah, I think uh, the first could apply. Between your camp and Reed's cannery, yours is a better way of life. You're not quite like anyone else I've met. You haven't had your consciousness programmed by the board. You're welcome among us if you're ever so inclined. That's not the impression I got from her when we first talked. I, I was under the impression that uh, uh, as long as it's possible, then everyone can come here and uh, they're gonna be welcome. Not that, like, uh, fuck Edgewater people. Um, I might go back to the ship. That seems like a faster way. Although... I can just run, doesn't matter. Apparently, yeah, he only gave me a mod. I don't have a really good weapon. Heavy ve well, yeah. Light machine gun, which is a heavy weapon. Feels the most DPS. It seems like uh, melee weapons, but I can't say that. I, I, I can't say how much damage they actually do. Or can I say that? I think that their DPS might change based on uh, what I'm capable of. Oh, the light pistol is garbage now. Energy handgun. Either I would need to repair the light pistol or stop using it. I need to get better at engineering. Alright, let's go head back to town. Oh crap. Marauder is later. With heavy armor.
Nice. Oh crap. Everyone all right? Yeah. A little extra loot. Does he have a heavy armor? Earrings. Yeah, he has a, a proper heavy armor that that I probably shouldn't use because I have a heavy armor that's already upgraded somewhat. I think I already looted this place. I'm gonna check this out. You're fast. Yeah. Music box. I'll just go home. <laughs> so many dead people on the road. This shotgun is really not that useful. Employment community. All right, Reed Thompson is not gonna be super happy about that. I can actually check my uh, reputation, I believe. And see how much they like me. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't like me as much after this. Can we check? Oh. They love me a lot. Space's choice doesn't love me as much. And apparently you can be positive and negative at the same time. Which is a little odd, but... It's, it's fine, I guess. What, what it's called is that they can fear me and they can... Uh, they can like me, or I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't sound quite right. Is Reed hiding in there? Mr. Thompson is aware of your concerns and remains committed to guiding Edgewater into prosperity. Oh, he's downstairs, and we probably have to have a fight, right? You want to know what gets my bile churning? Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? I don't like those answers. It's not personal. I need your power regulator. Uh, no. The choice was somewhat... Well, I do need the power regulator. But, uh... I did put some thought into the choice. To teach you a lesson? What? What lesson is that? These are terrible choices. I don't know your explanation. You're right. I put the fate of our town in the hands of some feckless transient. This is my fault, and all Edgewater's pain for my mistake. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. <laughs> I can't. What's going to happen to Edgewater? Edgewater's dead. Our cannery's dead. Adelaide's deserters are never coming back. Space's choice will shut us down before long. Some of us will die of illness by then. Some will move on. Some will starve. And as for me, I will tender my resignation. Whereupon I shall be processed and then duly imprisoned for gross incompetence. Yeah, it's, it's such a terrible system. I'm sorry about all this, Reed. Apologies won't give us our lives back. But for what it's worth, I am sorry too. Yeah, I can't intimidate, intimidate him. I'm leaving. Is it possible to intimidate him? I might be able to do it.
intimidation is a little bit low because of the hunger. But what I really want is up my science and engineering. So it seems like there are breakpoints in the game, so you know you usually the skill checks are, are either happening at 5, 10, 15, uh, 25. So having 28 is pointless. So we might put two points into dialogue. But and this would allow me to put science up to 40, which gives me uh, tinkering cost of 50 and engineering is still lowish but it's fine I do wanna at least put four more points into this so we can get engineering up a little bit well let's apply that Combat dialogue abilities. You have unlocked a dialogue combat skill when attacking the correct type of target. They are automatically debilitated. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you wanna? You and I. Oh man, I can't intimidate him anymore. It's gonna be a fight. Okay, it seems like I am a little hungry and a little sleepy. I can't do anything about the sleepiness right now. But we can eat a little bit. Do I need to eat more? Am I still hungry? Let's check it out. Uh, character details? Oh yeah, I'm not hungry anymore. Uh, sure, my HP regeneration is increased. Everybody, are you ready? This is gonna be a fight. Gotcha! Barrel. Oh, he's dead. Is he? Where's the last guy? Oh, Lee Thompson. Everyone all right? Maybe there was another solution to this. The riot gear. I think we're just gonna break it down. Stout skill. Pep pills. Yeah, you guys don't need the power regulator anymore. I'm going. That light pistol maybe should be replaced for my pistol. And we break down the crappy one. Bolter pistol! Alright, let's go. Wait, I, I have a lot of energy ammo. I, I do have quite a bit. Heavy ammo is yeah, it's not, not too bad. Alright, guys. Uh... <laughs> So I can plug the energy thingy into my ship now. 
Return to your ship, but we want to talk to Ludwig as well. On my way. I put my whole life in that cannery. Got my hands full at the moment. Make it quick, please. Goodbye. I'm not sure where we should go here. Can check out the local map. Spacer's Choice Cantina. Uh, maybe I should buy some drinks. I don't want to steal your power's beverages. gone. Go ahead. Oh. You tried the best. Now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Oh. She doesn't have stock anymore. I assume that even the vending machines are, are broken now. Power's out, but I can't just leave my goods unattended. Don't suppose you care to do business? Do you have? Anything? Music to my ears. Yeah, he does. Uh, what? Is that what he's selling? Tuna. So just some food, and but we have food, so not really a problem. Yeah, of course, the people in town have to realize that they have to leave this place. And, uh... It's gonna be a... It's gonna suck. Because... Apparently... Uh... Adelaide doesn't accept them into the botanical garden. Town's been dark a while now. Could be a mechanical trying to sabotage us. I don't know. You mentioned the logic module. I found one in the geothermal plant. Bang up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, that reminds me. Gotta look into getting us a uniform. So this is it then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical hordes. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. So here's a couple bits for your trouble. And a little something to remember me by. Shock stick. Right. Uh, thanks for that, Ludwig. So, we can return to the ship. And at this point, it seems like we did everything. Or... Most things. I don't know. I don't, I, if, if I miss something, I don't know about it. Obviously. <laughs> I didn't intention to miss anything. So we can install is the power. Is this your ship? Oh, yeah. Oh, my star. She is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. Edgewater won't last another season without power, but that don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. Company expects me back at my post. Hmm. Yeah, you need to forget about that. I really like Parvati. I really like her. Ah, oh, those deserters left Edgewater behind. Nothing keeping you from doing the same. Why are you telling me this? That no, no that's not what I want to tell. Her. You you can leave uh, Spacer's Choice behind and start a new life. Your life. I have imagined it, but until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. I want to ask you something, and you can say no, but can I come with you? I could tend to your engine, I know my G-valves from my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? I'll be glad to have you along. Pick a cabin, it's yours. Not my cabin, not the captain's cabin. 
Uh, I guess read who minds. Uh, what we, what with being dead and all. <laughs> nah, let's not bring him up. We already forget about him. You just met me. Why would you want to go into space with a stranger? No, no, no. I feel like we already bonded. I wouldn't imply otherwise. I'd be glad to have you along. Pick a cabin. It's yours. Yes. I mean, uh, thanks. You won't regret this, ma'am. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a Captain. Captain Hawthorne. Let's go. It would be so crushing if she decided to not stay with me. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. Wow, you're really making yourself at home. I didn't even let you in. <laughs> it's like, okay. I'm glad he didn't try to mess with the computer. Captain, please. I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. <laughs> okay. What can I do for you, Captain? But hasten their demise is a is a is the right word of words, uh, right choice of words because uh, maybe maybe that's not what the computer man doesn't really ma matter what the computer man but that's what I perceive that Edgewater is going down, with or without power, people were leaving it, even if they had not, not nowhere to go. Parvati jumped at a chance, who was the who was assigned to me by the boss. Read, uh, and yeah, Parvati wants to leave. Everyone wants to leave. Space's choice. I have nothing against Edgewater, but most likely, uh, Space's choice uh, will claim it because obviously they would. That's what they would do. So the only way to maybe get left alone by Space's choice is to actually the Botanical Garden is probably Space's choice property as well. At least they would think about. It think of it that way that kind of sucks I don't know I suppose both places can uh, produce food but the salt tuna factory like, it seems like they catch fish somewhere and they, they can eat that fish without canning it so I'm not sure what's up with that but like growing fruit uh, food uh, yeah that seems pretty important I'll have a yeah I have a power regulator by the way do you know how to install a power regulator? Just plug it in. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Can you walk me through it? I need to up my engineering. Step one, pick up your power regulator. Step two, approach the terminal located in our engine room. Step three, insert power regulator. Step four, celebrate. Our engine room is located behind you. Across the cargo bay, up the ladders. I'm already ahead of you with the celebrating. Hyper body. Let's head to the engine room. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna pick a quarter, uh, just pick a cabin for myself. Like, okay, sure. I'm the captain. I I'm telling you, you guys where you can sleep. Uh, yep. Yeah. Install the fire regulator. I have no idea why this Hawthorne guy. Which was not his name. Was he even even involved in this? Uh, well, in, in my in my story. Oh, I can bust this uh, locker open. Maybe we can do that later. What can I do for you, Captain? I've installed the power regulator. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. No, no, there's nothing to take care of. Let's get out of here. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. 
<laughs> Since then, I already got a crew and a ship. Good, I've been waiting to hear from him. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Um, I've been feeling a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Fine, I'll have a word with Gladys. Why do I need a nav key to land on a planet? There are so many questions here. Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kelly. Hmm. What's stopping me from just leaving Halcyon altogether? Yeah, just not deal with this crap. Without a skip drive? Good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. Mm, yeah, sounds like a plan. About this Gladys person, how do I know I can trust her? Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Hmm. Can I land... Can't I land somewhere outside Stellar Bay? In theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia. And, in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, talk to Gladys Kelly. Fine. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. You want to explain this? Holographic Shroud? Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The Shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has limits. First-generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic Shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. That sounds pretty useful. Uh, and what about the limit limitations? 
only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Why do I need a gadget for this? Couldn't I just steal a uniform or something? <laughs> a change of clothes. What is this? Some old spy serial? What inattentive and brainless guard would be fooled by such a shabby disguise? The holographic shroud masks not only your clothes, but your face and fingerprints. It modulates your voice and sweetens your breath. What? Changes my fingerprints? Okay. How the hell does a hologram sweeten your breath? Science, that's how. Right. I'll put it to good use. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Yeah, got it. <clears throat> Alright, this is the one. Well, select the place. Whoa, what the hell? So, we are... Uh... Are we at Terra 2? So, some locations are locked. Now, oh, Terra 2 is the capital. Phineas's lab. It seems like we are here. Independent orbital station in the remains of Halcyon's first colony ship. Captained by... Junlei Tennyson and run by descendants of the original crew. Uh, that's where it's pointing. Phineas's lab. Okay, let's... Okay. Here you can see all the planets in the system as well as some special points of interest that you may have discovered. You can fly your ship to any location that you have unlocked, though some landing bays require special codes and keys before they allow you to land there. Moving between planets is considered extremely dangerous, and all employees are encouraged to remain home or at work. Right. <clears throat> so let's check the quest log. Speak to Gladys on the Groundbreaker. Pshino, retrieve the holographic shroud. Uh, that's apparently in my captain's quarters, right? You might want to consider changing your clothes. Yeah, it projects a disguise on you and your companions that gives you access to restricted areas, provided you have correct idea cartridge for the area. Restricted areas are off limits to unauthorized personnel and otherwise result in being attacked on sight. More often. Messages for Alex Hawthorne. Oh, I forgot to mention in my previous message, silly me. I'm mailing you a copy of my favorite serial, The Space Adventures of Singularity Steel. It's about a dashing space pirate with a heart of... Well, steel. It's not exactly uh, board approved, so don't you go showing it around your spacer buddies. I hope it will amuse you while you're out adventuring. Any similarities to a certain someone are entirely intentional. Okay, wink wink. Uh, 
Shrink Ray. <clears throat> Note to self, remember this later. No better, Ada. Remind me weekly to check this log until I tell you to stop. Yes, I mean continually. No, Ada. Not if I'm dead. Why would you ask me that? Uh, back to my point. I saw in actuality with my own two eyes a uh, sublimely powerful uh, weapon in Vals' lab, just sitting there for the taking. If the great hair were to look away or forget about it, maybe, or if <laughs> I had asked a smidgen more nicely. He called it a shrink ray, but wouldn't let me test that claim after I lost my temper. Said he was inspired to create the thing by the achievements of other scientists who dared to push the boundaries of human knowledge and the decency laws. I had heard rumors of fantastical weapons like this one. Weapons that pushed the boundaries of the mind and science's cutting edge. But I figured they were just stories. To be honest, laying eyes on Velas' shrink ray first hand is enough to make a fellow wonder if there is more to the rumors. Hammer power. <clears throat> the last time I got sloshed, I mean, I was imbibing at the Lost Hope on the Groundbreaker. Look, Adam was really free with the drinks. He seems like an okay fellow. I shamelessly but uh, subtly eavesdropped on two Mardettes yammering on about a mad scientist some years back who'd claimed he'd make a huge discovery that would change the fate of the colony. Like none of us have heard that one before. But here is the good part. The Mardettes said the mad scientists keep yelling about the hammer power, hammer's power, or something similar. A strange weapon with a special power created by a crazy lab coat. Sure fits the bill. It could be another one of uh, the weapons that inspired uh, Velas. <clears throat> why, why, why? Why won't Velas just give me the shrink ray to me? Blast him to the depths of the labyrinth on Tartarus and back. Let the re record show. I did apologize for shouting him down five times, but... Architect be damned, it's just sitting there, neglected and gathering dust. I should have commandeered it and thanked him without asking permission or um, breaking expensive equipment when he said it wasn't ready yet and that even if it were, he couldn't entrust it to someone like me. What does that even mean? I ask. That I'm not trustworthy enough? That I'd use it to wipe out the good, hardworking fork? A fork of uh, the colony, like some sort of moralist psycho. I admit to maintaining some questionable associations, but I follow a strict code of me, myself and mine. What's not about uh, not to respect in that? Exactly. Now I have to wait until Velus forgets or thinks he misplaced it. In the meanwhile, I have been tracking down additional rumors uh, pertaining to others of these science weapons throughout Halcyon. If gossip holds true, my next step will be to check with the black market merchants on the Groundbreaker and in Fallbrook. So we might want to go to Valis's lab just to steal his shrink ray. Pick up Reed's hat. Dialogue skills plus seven. Weight of zero, so this is a hat that we can just put on and we just want to use it uh, for... Look, look at that, weight of zero, so even the armor is not completely useless, but it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's not, not for that. It's for passing uh, checks. We can sleep here a little bit, not a crazy amount. And I'm a little thirsty. It shows. Um, what? Oh. I drink booze. <laughs> Wait, do I have water? Is there like a vending machine on the ship that sells water? I could use that. 
Dehydrated water. Um, I just can't tell what is water. That would be a nice. That would be a nice thing. I would. I would definitely prefer that. That we have a some way to tell. Mock apple juice. I think that could be it. Yeah. You just don't know necessarily what uh, fills your your thirst and what doesn't. All right. But where do we go next? Unclear. Maybe it's a good time to take a break before we venture out into the unknown. And so far it seems like it's either gonna be Phineas's lab. He said that I might pop in. Uh, I could pop in there if I have more questions. And we can go there for the shrink ray and or the groundbreaker. This seems like the, the places to go. Anyway guys, uh, that's the Funa. Thanks for watching and see you next time.